what's up guys my name is Cruz I'm a Valorant player and today I'm going to be going over how to get better at Valorant we'll be talking about different categories like aiming game sense crosshair placement uh, and ult timing now there's going to be some other stuff we are going to be talking about but for now let's just stick to the basics so first up we have aiming what makes aim good so uh, for this, you are going to have to stay very, very calm with your aim. You cannot just sp you cannot just crouch, spray, and panic because that almost never works. Like almost you almost will always choke for like eighty when you're crouch spraying, which is just a really bad idea. Uh, idea in general. So yeah, the first thing you're, you're gonna do is make sure to be calm while also having an aggressive element to you. What I mean by this is. You have to take your time to aim, but you also have to improve at it, because if you do not improve at taking your time to aim, you're going to die in most situations. Because if, you, if you're if you moving your crosshair slowly onto their head, they might hit you, and they might kill you, and you don't want crotch sprayers to kill you, because crotch sprayers suck. Alright, so, yes. So, that's basically aiming, in a nutshell. Now, the next uh, category is going to be game sense. So, really, what's good game sense? Um, it's mostly determining where the player is. You can find players pretty easily with game sense. It actually only takes a few steps. So, the first thing is to find the most common place that the players would be. Now, this just takes a lot of matches and maybe look over at some videos of some people in your rank and see where the people are most commonly uh, are. So this is also like good for um, getting better crosshair placement because crosshair placement is like a big factor. Uh, you can't just be flicking on to people and winning and like expecting to win that. That just doesn't work. Um, but yeah, another category we're going to be talking about... It's just the gameplay in general. Like, what are you doing? And also, ult timing. Ult timing, this is only for Reyna. And Reyna is played by a lot of people. So, it is necessary for most Reyna mains. So, yeah. Basically, this is one of the factors of why you have to be aggressive. Aggressive, but not too aggressive at the same time. So... Basically, uh, how to be aggressive with one of these agents is going to be a bit uh, weirder. For example, Jet is pretty easy to be aggressive on. You just have to make use of most of her util. Rena, though, for ult timing, this is very important. When you're trying to time her ult correctly, you have to make sure, you have to make sure you are in a somewhat bad situation. It doesn't matter if it's or a somewhat good situation actually. If you're the last player, if you're the last player alive, you should definitely ult if especially if there's multiple people. But if there's if it's a 5v1, you might as well ult. And like why not? And on the last half, you have to try and find a way to make use of your ult. Cuz if you don't, then there's it's just going to be pointless. You've just wasted your ult for no reason. So yeah, those are most of the categories, and I think that is all for today's video.